Hey everyone, it's me again. Whoops, sorry, I'm looking at the microphone. Hey everyone, it's me again. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Corey. My wife's name is Raquel. We moved out to the Philippines from Chicago. Uh, she is a Filipina, so she's originally from the Philippines, of course, but she was married and lived with me over in the States. Uh, and I'm gonna show everyone around the property and some of the house projects. I've had a lot of people ask me what's going on with the house. I haven't showed it in probably two months. Uh, it's rainy season over here, if you don't know that. So we have three or four different projects going on, which I will show you guys, but because of rainy season, some of them constantly get put on hold. And when I say that, we're doing the landscaping, we're doing the chicken coops, we're doing the fish pond, uh, and the raised garden beds. So as you can imagine, all of those are outside for the most part. So it will rain for two, three, four days in a row sometimes. And then the project just kind of stands still. And then we work on something inside or, or you know, something like that. Um, but before I get off track, uh, I just want to tell everyone great news. We got a dishwasher. Now you're probably laughing or thinking you already have a dishwasher. Why do you care? Well, I live in the Philippines. So you, you are not going to find 100 people out there that live in the Philippines with a dishwasher. It was very hard to get. I went to every department store that I could possibly think of and we could not find a dishwasher. They either scratched their head and had no idea what we were talking about or they said, no, or, or we found a place that had this little portable one and it was for disinfecting stuff against COVID, which, you know, sounds nice, but uh, it's not exactly what we we're looking for. Uh, and I calculated the amount of hours that we were spending doing dishes and it doesn't make any sense. So that being said, we got a dishwasher. I'm really happy about that. Okay, so let's get into what we have going on in the property and I will show you guys around. Uh, so as you can tell by looking, at this, we have been doing a lot of landscaping. So I got a lot of rocks in there to pick up from all of the additional uh, soil that was dropped off. But either way, you know, bear with me here. We still have a lot of little plants to put in and I will show you guys the other plants we haven't done. But as you can tell, we raised this by about four inches and we've put in all of these plants. So we've gotten all of these so far from Valencia. They've had the most options and they had a great selection and very, very good prices. We also did this walkway because we realized how often we actually go out back and around there. And the fact is that we don't want to bring a weir bell across the grass. We don't want to be walking across the grass or anything like that. So we actually had that path put in. So he carved that out. He laid down rock, uh, rebar, of course, drilled it into the foundation and then cemented it all in so it's very solid. And I just wanna say we've only put in patches of grass in this part. Uh, every time we've had a little bit of extra grass from some of the deliveries, what we would do is we would put it in this spot or the one behind me, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then we calculate again, how much more grass we need for the next section as we're doing them one at a time. So we've also lifted up this part a couple inches we got some trash in there that i noticed but we had a big uh shindig at the house over the weekend we actually had about 150 people over actually you know what i think we had more than that uh, we actually had the official house blessing so it was a very big event over at the house but as you can tell we have a lot of very unique plants put in that we're really both happy with and in the philippines not all of them are necessarily unique but to me being a foreigner a lot of them really really are so i've been enjoying plant shopping here compared to being in the u.s where i honestly just wouldn't care because i'd be looking at the same kind of things that i see all over but when i'm over here doing it it's actually really fun because i'm like what the heck is this thing <laughs> uh, and they'll laugh and say it's common or it's not common and i'll have to i'll have to research it for each thing and then we'll mix it make sure that it's going to make sense where we're going to put it but either way it's actually been really enjoyable doing gardening over here and in landscaping because again it's they're all unique to me outside of your banana trees and palm trees so anyways um we've also got quite a few planted over here my wife changed what was going on on both sides of the house i don't know what these things are but we thought they were very interesting so anyways we got a bunch of those 
And yes, I just want to say, I know we have a lot of paint work to do, which is fine. That's the last thing we're going to be doing, along with painting the exterior wall. Those are the kind of things we're going to do when we're all done. It doesn't make sense for us to be doing landscaping and using shovels and wheelbarrows and digging and everything else, um, whether it's along the wall or around here, and then just kind of be doing it around fresh paint. It doesn't make sense to us. So that's the last thing we're going to be doing. Um, we got some little bushes planted over here. My wife really likes them. Now we definitely have a lot of rocks to clean up around the driveway. We're actually going to put crushed stone down this when we're all done. Uh, but we did get quite a few little bushes planted on both the sides. So the driveway is going to look much better here shortly. I find it entertaining. My wife asked me next time we head into Dumaguete if she can go to the, the plant place. And I said, honey, I counted 64 plants that you haven't planted yet. <laughs> so get 50 of those in the ground and then we can have a conversation. So which was a good thing for me because then she spent the next three days digging holes. But either way, we still have uh, quite a bit more to get planted, as you can tell. Quite a few. Okay, next up we have our raised garden beds that you can see in the background. I'm going to throw in a bunch of clips of all the, the work that we've done to get them as far as they have gone. Um, but either way, like I was saying, it's the rainy season over here. So we calculated that it would take him about two weeks to do those. And that's what he estimated as well. It's been five weeks, which is not his fault because uh, it, it rained for four days in a row one time. So we had to keep just keep them on other jobs then it rained uh, every other day so they would start to fill up with water and get water around it and you know things like that so either way it doesn't look that that pretty right now because they are not a hundred percent done but I am very very happy with how they are looking because we are going to be able to grow quite a bit inside of each one of these garden beds and it's important to me that we can grow as much as we can on the property We've planted two additional mango trees, four avocado trees, four banana trees, and two coconut trees. And we actually planted one corn stalk on accident. It's kind of a joke, but it's actually growing a little bit of corn. But there's only one, so it's, <laughs> it just looks silly. We're going to keep it there just because it's entertaining at this point. Um, but if you're looking at these, by the way, these garden beds are three feet wide and they are 25 feet long. Uh, and if you're wondering if you're into garden raised garden beds at all a lot of people go with four foot wide beds which makes perfect sense to me and i get that uh, i'm married to a filipina so her arm length is equivalent to probably my pinky so it doesn't make sense for me to have them four feet wide when it would be way too much for her to get in the center of them so we just went with a little bit skinnier one we have four foot path in the middle so we have plenty of room with the wear barrel Oh, you guys are looking good today, huh? You guys work out or what? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, next up we have the two fish ponds, which I got one of them coated. Again, if you're new to the channel, I had, I've had i had piglets in the second pond, so I haven't been able to get that one painted yet, which that's fine. We actually just got rid of the piglets, so no concerns anymore. But either way, that chicken coop I built is eight by 12. And I already have a ramp for it that goes down to the ground. Uh, it took me quite a bit of time strictly because we had piglets in there and we had to get keep them out of the sun So I couldn't just come in here and cut and weld and put the thing together. That would have been very easy Unfortunately, I had to build it in the garage in sections so I could leave tarps over the piglets So they wouldn't fry in the Sun. No pun intended and we want to fry them, but you get my point um, so I needed to keep them out of the Sun, which is why I built it piece by piece in the garage cut, grinded, painted, welded, everything in a different location, and then came out here and put it together piece by piece. So if you're looking at this thing, I have the four long panels behind me, which are all painted, welded, put together. Sorry, those are four feet by six feet. So they will cover two in the front and then two in the back. The sides on the left and right side are actually gonna be fixed because I'm not gonna jump into the fish water to actually get to the chickens, for example. and. I already put the roofing up there, so two of them are clear uh, and a couple of them are white. And I have the gutter system over there for it. And you're wondering why would I put a gutter on a chicken coop? It's because of the amount of water that we get here. It's going to go into a collection rain barrel and then can feed the chickens 
fish flooring is set into place so I will have this thing finalized uh, next week as long as I have another uh, two maybe three days to wrap it all up I don't it's not gonna take long I just need it to not rain for two or three days in a row but all in all I'm extremely happy with how this is going we have uh, a lot of grass laid in place around the yard and the yard looks a million times better than it did prior and my wife's got a quite a bit of little bushes and plants that she had planted around it honestly i don't know what any of them are uh, i just know whether they look cool or not and that's all i can pretty much tell you um but either way we're very happy with how the place is looking uh last up is the rear patio area as you can tell well if you're new to the channel you can't tell but We've extended the roof eight feet and then we ran the tile and added the ground over here and we ran that over an additional eight feet. We found that we were constantly sitting out on the patio. It wasn't big enough. So we decided to extend all that, but we got it all tiled. Framing is done, the roofing is up. We just got to do some touch up paint work. But other than that, it is looking really good out here. We're really, really happy with the progress. Yeah, it's beautiful weather. Everyone's happy. I'm enjoying life. So I hope everyone else is as happy as I am and I'll see you guys soon. Bye